<laughs> so guys, today, simple one, um, that I've been wanting to do for a while, and thanks to Casey, it's now possible, so thank you mate. Um, right, this, the electronic bypass valve. We all know it, we all hate it. I want to try and replace it with one of these. And what this is, is actually a um, exhaust valve. Um, now it's a vacuum actuated exhaust valve, um, but it's, uh, it's like cast stainless steel, I believe, which makes it ideal for my poor fabrication skills. Um, now obviously it's normally closed, so that means when vacuum is applied, it opens. Just like this would if it was vacuum operated. So these are both the same size, both 50 mil. So in theory, they should work the same. Now the only thing that may cause some problems is in this one we have these two big lips, one each side. Now that's great because it ensures a seal but it may cause a slight issue with airflow when it's only slightly open. But if that's the case then I'll just take those island screws out, get a Dremel and uh, Take them out, simple as that. Um, so this is gonna be a prototype and see if it works. And if it does work, then I'll look at turning it into a product. Um, but these things aren't exactly that cheap. Um, they're not rip off, but they're not that cheap either for what they are. Um, but yeah, just make a comment in the comments. I like the video. If you would like something like this, if it works, to be an off-the-shelf product that you can fit to your car. Um, there's going to be a few modifications that I have to make to this to make it actually fit properly. Um, but we'll just get into it, see how it goes. Right guys, so I've got the airbox lid and I've got the plate. Right, so this is the plate I was using to block off the diver valve for really no reason other than a silly noise honestly it's totally pointless not really worth doing um, anyway I'm gonna repurpose this plate because it's already marked out the holes are already in the right place and I'm going to cut a hole in it and then weld the valve to this um, but first I'm gonna mark it out and uh, yeah We'll, uh, we'll figure the next bit out as we go along. Right, so all I've done is I've fixed the plate where it should be. I'm going to take a permanent marker and just mark out inside. If you can see it, I don't think you can. Inside around that hole. Once I've done that, I'm then going to find the centre of the hole, drill a pilot hole, and then that will be a guide for the hole saw as it goes through um, and then what I'm going to do while before I hole saw it is fix it to a piece of wood so I've got something to sort of lean it against let's quickly oh do it ow just nearly broke a nail And there we have it. We know where the hole needs to be now. So I'm going to go fix this to a piece of wood, find the centre and uh, find the drill. Right, so I've marked the centre, I've ignored the marks that I made for the centre and drilled anywhere. Um, I'm drilling this out with a 51mm hole saw because that's the size of the butterfly itself. There's no point going any bigger. Um, now what I'm going to try and do is um, 
I've put some two stroke oil on there, it's always good when drilling thick metal to use lube and go slow. The faster you go, the more heat you generate, and it's just going to blunt your drill bit. So I've drilled the hole out to um, about the same size as that uh, shank, so we'll give it a go and uh, see what happens. that way into it. Okay, I think this drill needs to cool down a little bit. Probably shouldn't be old enough. <laughs> Seriously. Right guys, so here we are. Three days, three drills, five hole saws later. I finally got through that plate. And I've just tacked the valve onto it. No, I'm not confident enough yet to show my welding skills, or lack of, um, but it's tacked on pretty good, ain't going nowhere, um, and I'm going to fit this up to the airbox lid and see whether it um, fits where I intended it to, now it's all welded up, well, tacked up, um, so yeah, let's get to that. There we go, fits in the car, fits like stock. It has got clearance when it's sat back, but uh, yeah, it's like stock. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> So I've given it a lick of paint. I uh, just don't look at the welds. I I, I I I know I'm out of practice, but even for a novice, that sh yeah, I can't say. Um, not great. Um, but giving it a lick of paint looks all right. Should do the job. I've just got to work out the actuator a bit more. And if you're wondering why it's notched out there, that's so the pipe clears. Oh, guys. Thanks again for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, it's the first real sort of fab thing that I've done on the channel, um, well I say fab, that welded, anyway, once I've ironed it out and got it working exactly as it should do, because it does work, I have tested it, um, but the car did some strange misfires, um, that weren't related to boost cut or anything like that, it just sprung a giant vacuum leak when it didn't have a vacuum leak if that makes sense so i've got to try and figure out what happened there i've also got some proper vacuum pipe on the way um and a tp so i'm going to take the vacuum from the throttle body directly um i think that'll work best for this um but for now guys that's it thank you for watching and don't forget like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one